Well, a few cases of the flu have already popped up in Minnesota. That means now is the time to be proactive to hopefully stay healthy. And here to share her tips is Kate Vandevelde, nurse practitioner uh, with VirtuWell. Thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, let's just start with the obvious, the thing that we say every year. Get you should your get flu your flu shot. shot. It's time. It's time to get it. Definitely. And so what do we know about this year's flu shot? Are we, do we know if we've picked the right strain yet or we, how, where are we at? It's still, you know, up for uh, debate and mm -hmm. find out more. Um, it, they're still watching it and evaluating that. And regardless, though, it's still, still best, best to get, to get it. It's your best practice. OK, Definitely. so what are some other things that we can do, obviously, to, to kind of stay safe? You want to make sure that if you do get sick, you don't want people going to work, right? No, we want to have people stay home when they're sick, with you, especially if you have a fever. So a lot of times with influenza, you have a fever, a high fever. We want people to stay home with any fever for at least 24 hours after the fever's gone away without using any you know, Tylenol, ibuprofen, or things like that. And then, of course, there are things you can do without, you know, uh, you exercise, wash your hands. Right, yeah, all the things that grandma used to tell you to do are yes. the good things to do, you know, when, to keep yourself healthy. So eat well, take some rest. If you're not feeling well, don't push to the limits. Just stay home and relax and eat good foods and drink warm liquids and pay attention to your body because you know your own body right so yes. you know when something you know when you're coming down with exactly. something right and you know wash your hands a ton it's it's really one of the best ways to prevent illness is wash your hands you know when you're going in places leaving places before you eat after you go to the bathroom yeah. leaving buildings things like that you know the, yeah, all the things. The things. Yes. yes. <laughs> the things. Well, let's talk about virtual. You guys just had a big milestone recently. We did. Right? We just recently served our 500,000 consumers, so half a million people. So if you think about that, that's a lot of consumers served that save a lot of money for, you know, consumers and clinics and time in the urgent care wait lines and all that can be done from the uh, comfort of your home. So it was a big, it's a big deal. And so for people who wanted or wanted to try it, I mean, just pop online, pop yeah. on your phone. Yeah, we do have an app, but that's not necessary. Yeah. Uh, you can fill it out online. It's an online interview, and, and then we receive it on our end and review it. And if we need to call and ask more questions, we do. Otherwise, we just treat, you know, based on the interview. And we cover a lot of different yeah. things. We do colds and sinus infections and bladder infections, acne, birth control. I mean, we do, we cover a lot of different things that people know what they have, they know right. what they need. We can do it safely online through our service. It's just training people that that way to do it, right? Exactly. You don't have to physically walk in exactly. every time for something. Exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. We really appreciate thank you, you being here us. today. We have more information about Virtuel. You can head to the Care 11 app and scroll to the As Seen on TV section.